Hey friends! Before you watch the rest of this video, I want you to know that I'm making the video on the night of November 6th before I've seen any election results. So this is not a political video. This video is about what we are called to do as Christians in regards to praying for the leaders of our country. So if you're interested in that topic, stay tuned. Guys, if this is your first time here, I personally just want to welcome you to the Homegrown Ministries YouTube channel. My name is DJ, and I provide encouragement through Bible study videos, words of encouragement videos, and answers to any of your questions from a biblical perspective. So if you like what you see here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so that way you don't miss any content in the future. So tonight is a big night in America. It is a election time, and we are all waiting to see the results of that election, to see if the majority is going to change in the House and the Senate, to see who is being elected in our personal states, and things along those lines. And people in America, and probably in other parts of the world during election times, really panic. Because if my person doesn't get elected, the world's going into chaos. We saw this in America when Trump got elected. People said, you know, if Trump gets elected, it's going to be like the next Hitler, and the world's going to go into chaos. And there are people on the Republican side that would have said the same thing about Hillary. Is that if Hillary would have gotten elected, the world would have gone into chaos. And I want you to know is that regardless of what people say about particular candidates or particular elected officials, God can use anyone can use, again, let me make that clear, God can use anyone for His purpose and His glory. Look at the whole Old and New Testament, you will see time and time again God using non-Christians for His purpose. You will constantly see God using people that are not following God's will to fulfill God's promises. Because God can use anyone for a greater good, just like God can use any circumstance, good or bad for a purpose. So our calling as Christians is to pray for our leaders of our country and of the world so that God may use these people for his will. 1 Timothy 2, 1-4 says, I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all goodness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and come to knowledge of the truth. So again, this just reinforces the fact, Christians and friends, that we are called to pray for the leaders of our country. So tonight, before any results are shown, before I know who has been elected, I just want to pray for this country, and I just ask that you join me in prayer so that God may lead this country and the rest of the world towards His goal and His purpose. So guys, if you would, please join me in prayer with the Father. Father God, I come to you tonight with just the prayer request of leading this country in your will. Father God, I feel like sometimes we are so far removed from your rules and your order that I feel like there's no hope for this country. But God, I know that you can dictate all things for good. Regardless of who's elected, regardless of how I feel about the country, I know you can use people, regardless of their faith in you, for good and for your plans and Lord your plans your ways are always right and always true even if we as humans don't understand them and Lord I just thank you that you have led us to this point in history and I ask that you continue to lead this country and lead the world in a way that makes sense in a way that falls into your will Father God bring us into repentance bring us back into your will and your protection this country desperately needs you to return, and Lord, I just pray that you change the hearts of the nation and be with the leaders of this country each and every day so that they may make wise decisions that show your light throughout the world. Father God, I love you dearly. I thank you for the ability to live in a country that is free to choose our officials. But even if I wasn't, I know that you could use anyone in power for your good and for your purpose, and I thank you for that. Father God, I pray all these things in your son's precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alright guys, 
That's all I have for you today. I love you dearly. Keep praying for the country. Keep praying for the people in your life who don't know God. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Because even though sometimes we feel like it's the last thing we can do, it is the most powerful thing we can do. Because if God is on your side, who can be against you? Guys, please continue to be the light to this world. Be the salt of the earth. And encourage someone today because the world desperately needs it. Again, I love you dearly. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.